Specifically, the turnoff was, would you date a single mother? Jacoby, you proceeded to tell me that basically you're a high value man and you are too good for a single mother. However, you did also tell me that you were raised by a single mother, which is profound for me to think that a single mother is not good enough for you, but it's good enough for a woman to raise you. That's unfair. Okay, so that makes zero sense. Dating a single mother versus being raised by a single mother isn't the same thing. And if I'm raised by a single mother, I have a better understanding of what a single mother's life entails. Therefore, I wouldn't want to date one due to the fact that I was raised by one. Her making a correlation between being raised by one and dating one makes zero sense because he didn't date his mother. Just because it's a cycle I wanted to, wanted to continue? Why would you cut off and say that single women are because not on the same level? Just well, ma'am, he just answered your question because he doesn't want to repeat a dysfunctional cycle. You were raised by a single mother. Yes. And is I, your mother I still alive? I struggle. My mom's still did alive. Did she struggle or did you struggle? Both of us struggle. Okay. So your word, I'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother. See, this is really sad. The typical woman, no matter who she is, how she looks, she's going to say, well, I'm not going to settle. But in this situation, this woman is looking at him like, so you're saying you're not going to settle for a single mother. That's what he said. So what's the problem? He does not want to settle for a single mother, just like a woman wouldn't want to settle for a broke dude or another type of dude. What is the problem? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, oh, no, we're body positive. Exactly. This is sort of a dating show. And if a fat man came up to the door, the woman would be like, I don't want to settle for that fat man. But if a fat woman came to the door and he turns around and says the same thing, he might get kicked off the whole show. The man and any other man has the right to say, I don't want a single mother. What is wrong with you ladies? Women are so used to being accepted or feeling like they're accepted by virtually every man that's in their environment where they're just like, why won't you accept me? Why don't you want me? See, sadly, women aren't used to not being accepted for who they actually are. And why is this? Disney princess crap or the men just trying to talk to them all the time. So when a man turns around and says to a woman, an attractive woman, I don't want you because of whatever reason, she's like, how dare you? But what you ladies don't understand is a man has the right to not want you. But simply because you're a woman, you think every man on the planet wants you. And that is the problem with a lot of delusional women. The second problem I have with this, which is more important than anything, is the media, because this is a show, the media gives women this delusional mindset of every man is supposed to appreciate you and like you for who you actually are, even if you're overweight, even if you're a single mother, simply because you're a woman, mainly because their viewership is women. Think about that. This show most likely is being viewed by mainly women, mainly black women. So when a black woman on the show has a problem with what the man is saying, the host automatically goes into mother bear mode. Wait, why can't you date a single mother? Because I don't want to, ma'am. Do you see how simple that is? There's really no reason why they asked this man why he doesn't want her. Because he doesn't. And then actually on the show, because I've seen this episode, he literally broke it down to her in a respectful way and said, I don't necessarily want to date a woman with kids because a lot of times when a man dates a woman with kids, he is not the priority in a relationship. And he doesn't want to make a woman his priority when a woman is not making him priority it made all the sense in the world and it's his right and preference to say i don't want to date a single mother but with all that being said their viewership is mainly single mothers black women or single women so the host has to act like oh my god why wouldn't you date a single mother for tv and that's the reason why a lot of these shows are fake because the host of this show is old enough to know that men can have a preference just like a woman can have a preference. Let there be a man who has kids on here. The first thing the woman is going to say is, nope, I don't want to date no man with kids because I don't want to deal with a baby mama drama. But when a man says the same thing, I don't want to date a woman with kids, it's a problem.
Deeper Discussion Card Game is meant to give you and other players deep understanding of how we all deal with relationship, when or if things get serious. One of the biggest reasons why people break up is because of underlying family issues. Question number one, what is the one thing you wanted but didn't receive when you were young? Name a time when money was the main factor why a relationship went bad. What is the most annoying attribute about the opposite sex? Deeper Discussions Dating Edition. Again, these cards are good for vetting a potential boyfriend, Candidate. a potential girlfriend, a potential husband, a potential wife. It'll even tell you what's wrong with your sneaky link. If you and your sneaky link need to have a conversation, these are the cards. And you can fix yourself and, and figure you out the why. The texture of these cards are so soft and silky, by the way. Like, like they ain't gonna like get really wore out. Durable. <laughs>